Hey guys, lovers, and welcome back to another video. There are many things to love about October, from the cozy feelings of autumn to the spooky celebrations of Halloween. But October is also Black Cat Awareness Month. So, to look out for dark colored felines, here are five myths about black cats that we need to stop believing. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now, let's get started. Myth number one Black cats are bad luck. One of the most prevalent myths about black cats is that they are bad luck. There are many different iterations of this superstition, most commonly that it is bad luck to cross paths with a black cat. If you run into a black cat or see one in your day-to-day -day life, it is allegedly a sign that bad luck will surely befall you. However, some versions of the superstition are more extreme, suggesting that black cats are harbingers of death or the devil in disguise. Many of the myths surrounding black cats stem from the medieval period. During this time, many animals with dark colors, like ravens or crows, were closely associated with death. Seeing them was often viewed as a bad omen, indicating that death was around the corner. This was also true of black dogs, the most famous example being the church grim or hellhound. However, even though other animals were associated with death or bad luck, none seemed to have retained their association with it like black cats have. For the last few centuries, black cats have been continually associated with bad luck and death. As we'll discuss later, this is in large part due to their association with witchcraft and the devil. But in some form or another, sightings of black cats are often interpreted as bad omens. For example, if a black cat were to sit on the bed of a sick person, it was interpreted as a sign that death was imminent. Or if a black cat was seen at a funeral, it was an indication that someone else in the family would soon die as well. Another popular superstition is that it is good luck to own a black cat. But bad luck to cross paths with one? Try to make sense out of that one. While it may seem just like a silly superstition, the myth that black cats are bad luck has had very real consequences. Even though superstitions are not as prevalent or given as much value as they were in the past, their negative connotations have continued to stick around. Myth number two, black cats are good luck. The myths surrounding black cats aren't all negative. In fact, there are lots of cultures that believe black cats are signs of good luck. Many of these associations actually predate those that suggest black cats are bad luck. For example, the ancient Egyptians revered black cats as representations of the goddess Bastet. It is a common belief that killing a cat was a capital offense in ancient Egypt, punishable by death. While this might not be entirely accurate, there is evidence to suggest that cats were highly regarded and even considered sacred. Bastet, the goddess of cats, protection, and nurturing, is often depicted as a woman with the head of a lioness and later a black cat, which goes to show how important cats were in ancient Egyptian culture and belief systems. Across centuries and the globe, black cats have been associated with good luck in various ways. The United Kingdom alone has many different myths associating black cats with good luck. In Scotland, a black cat appearing on your doorstep is a sign of prosperity and incoming wealth. In England, if a bride sees a black cat on her wedding day, she will have luck in marriage. Also in England, a play or musical is supposed to have a successful and long run if a black cat is in the audience on opening night. In France, a black cat sighting might actually mean that something magical will soon happen to you. Specifically, in the south of France, black cats are often referred to as matagots, a term in French folklore for a spirit in animal form, typically a black cat. Though these creatures are typically believed to be evil in general, they can bring good luck or wealth into a home if they are treated well by its inhabitants. Elsewhere in Europe, black cats are also associated with good luck. In Norse mythology, the goddess of love and fertility, Freya, rode in a chariot drawn by cats described as having fur as dark as the night. In Greek mythology, the goddess of magic, Hecate, was said to have a cat as a pet and a familiar. As we'll go on to discuss in the next myth, however, this association with witchcraft and magic was not always perceived as a good thing for black cats. Even though it is not as harmful to believe that black cats are good luck as it is to believe that they are bad luck, it could still be an unhealthy practice. By giving weight to superstitions, it opens up the door for negative associations. Because believing that black cats are good luck uses the same logic as believing black cats are bad luck. It would be easy for the tides to shift. After all, it's happened before. As we've discussed, black cats in the ancient world were regarded as sacred. Just a few centuries later, however, their same associations with magic and deities would shift in public perception and be used against them. Overall, it is best to ditch notions that certain animals are omens of anything. Even though it might lean in their favor now, we've seen how quickly and detrimentally that can change, as it was the case of black cats. Myth number three, black cats are demonic. One of the most persistent myths about black cats, and one that we've already alluded to several times due to how pervasive it is, is the association of black cats with witchcraft. Black cats' reputations have been tied to this misconception for several centuries, tracing back to the medieval period. A famous church document called Vox in Rama was issued on June 13, 1233 by Pope Gregory IX. 
This papal bull, or official church treatise, was intended to condemn a heretical religious group in Germany. In it, the Pope details the satanic activities of the cult, which included the alleged worship of the devil in the form of a black cat. The cult's rituals was gross to say the least, and supposedly included kissing a black cat's buttocks. Contrary to popular belief, nowhere in the document does the church actually condemn cats or argue for the killing of black cats. So while it is true that the Catholic Church spoke out against satanic rituals involving black cats, there is no historical evidence of a church movement to kill off black cats. If you'd like us to dedicate an entire video to this topic, let us know in the comments. Eventually, increasing fearful and hateful sentiment towards witchcraft kicked off the witch trials in Europe. However, also contrary to popular belief, Protestants were behind the majority of the witch hunts. This is evident by looking at the Witchcraft Act of 1604 by Anglican King James I and Protestant King Christian IV of Denmark, who encouraged witch hunts. While some Catholics were behind witch hunts as well, many Catholic rulers condemned witch torture or killing, including Pope Nicholas I and Pope Gregory VII. Nonetheless, witches, more often women, were persecuted and often killed. The witch trials in Europe, spanning around 200 years, saw between 200,000 and 500,000 alleged witches killed. 85% or more were women. Along with them, anything associated with witchcraft or devil worship was condemned, which ties in black cats. It took several centuries for the reputation of black cats to recover, though their association with witchcraft still remains today. In pop culture, black cats are often depicted as witches' familiars or supernatural entities. One of the most famous examples of this is Salem, the magic, talking black cat from the Archie comic series Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Though Salem is a beloved figure, named after the infamous witch trials in Massachusetts, he fully embodies the association between black cats and witchcraft. Myth number four, black cats aren't friendly. One of the most detrimental myths about black cats is the belief that they aren't as friendly as other cats. There is no definitive evidence to suggest that personality has any ties to coat color. Even though some people will insist that certain coat colors possess certain traits, think orange cat behavior, there is no empirical evidence to back this up. Rather, personality seems to come from a combination of nature and nurture, both genetics and socialization, rather than arbitrary features like coat color. However, the lack of scientific evidence does not stop people from associating coat colors with certain personality traits, like black cats with unfriendliness. This belief is thought to lead people to be less inclined to adopt black cats or treat black cats with the same level of affection as other cats. This phenomenon is known as black cat bias and is an official phenomenon coined by researchers to describe how black cats are perceived more negatively than cats with lighter colored coats. A research study published in the National Library of Medicine found that people were more likely to rate black cats as less friendly than other cats. Interestingly, they also found that participants who displayed bias towards black cats tended to be more superstitious than participants who did not. Furthermore, it seems that black cat bias has negative implications for black cats concerning their welfare. Black cats are admitted into shelters at a higher rate than other cats, meaning they also have a higher rate of euthanasia than other cats. While there is still some debate among experts about whether or not black cat bias really has an impact on black cats' welfare and adoption rates, it is still worth debunking the myths surrounding them. Plus, the more attention we can give black cats, the better. Since they make up a majority of the cats in shelters, it is worth promoting their adoption and welfare. Myth number five, black cats don't photograph well. Another common misconception about black cats is that they will never look right in photographs. Because their fur absorbs more light than other coat colors, many black cat guardians give up on taking photos of them. Whether they look like a blob or disappear into the background, it can be tricky to capture these black beauties. But while it's true that black cats can be hard to photograph, it is more than possible to take super cute and sharp photos of your black cat. Just look at the countless professional photos of black cats out there. So black cats can photograph just as well as any other cats. However, you might need to put in a bit more effort. With the right lighting and attention to detail, photographs of your black cat can capture them in just as much detail and dimension as they deserve. When taking pictures of your black cat, try to avoid dark backgrounds and make sure that you have good natural lighting. It is also a good idea to look up some photography tips online. Even though you might need a bit more patience, there is no reason to give up on taking pictures of your cat under the belief that black cats never photograph well. Now that we've gone over the myths, it's time for Cat of the Week. This video's Cat of the Week is Binksy. His guardian says, Binksy is very affectionate and loves his fish. He carries them around and leaves them as gifts. Here he is napping with one. Congratulations, Binksy. Keep being possum. To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So, do you know a black cat? If so, we'd love to hear you bust these myths in the comments below. Also, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.